Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is of course the one, the only, the legendary porpoise coming back at you again today with another Minecraft video. Now today's video is all about building the port of Avonburg and I decided to take my time with this. I really wanted it to be a very unique side of the city. Um, I didn't build the ships in this video, but I did the buildings. I did a like a seafarers guild, um, some storage areas, and then the next kind of gatehouse leading to the actual uh, part of the city that will house most of the citizens. Um, and as you can see in the time lapse, I'm, I'm just kind of going for a different theme per se. And I'm really trying to make this as detailed and full of life as possible without making it just ridiculously overcrowded. And I think I accomplished that. And I hope you can see that in the final product. But, of course, before I forget, if you like my content, if you like the channel, if you like the direction we're uh, heading in with this channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, the thumbs up, comment below what you want to see next and, and what you're looking forward to most, and of course, share with your friends and family. That's what this is all about. So as you can see here, I actually began the outline for the entire port area, and it's going to have two major... Um, you know, piers sticking out and it's going to be made of stone. And I tried to make it very, uh, I guess, aesthetically pleasing, making it fit in with the environment as much as possible. And I think I accomplished that in the end. It will have multiple small wooden piers and things like that kind of scattered around to make it look a little bit more lively. But as you can see right now in the time lapse, I actually began building a little storage area. I have two small just covers. And then after that, I decided to build, this is going to be a two story, uh, kind of a smaller storage area, but it will be there and it will be looking good. Um, I did not do the interior for these buildings in this video. Um, you know, I typically always do those second, uh, whenever I really have the time to dive into it and really make it look special. So after all that being said, this is actually going to be the Seafarers Guild, and it's going to be a two-story. It's got a little lower-story porch and a second-story balcony, and I, it's, even though it's a very simple build, I really like the way it came out, and I think it has a lot of potential uh, on the interior to really make it stand out and really be something just completely awesome-looking and that fits in with this Skyrim ish theme that I've been building on and I just can't wait to do the interior um, Obviously holidays are coming up. So it might be a couple days uh, probably about a Actually, it's gonna be about a week and a half to two weeks until my next video because I'm taking a little vacation But when I get back I will finish the interiors and begin on the next part of Avonburg and of course, just like always, you know, um, if you have any ideas as to what maybe I could squeeze into the port, maybe some small details after I get through the walkthrough, please let me know below. I'm more than happy to kind of switch some things around, tweak the way that it looks to make it look as authentic as humanly possible. And like I said, I do plan on having one larger galleon type ship and then probably about two to three... Uh, medium-sized trading ships and then a bunch of small fishermen's boats and they're actually going to go all the way out into the water in front of Malaris Keep just to kind of give it some atmosphere and to make it just look alive and that's something that I've really been trying to work on I typically have always built in very static uh, environments I didn't really put a lot of detail into the smaller things I've always just built structures and that's pretty much it so that is something i'm practicing on and i think it's coming through fairly well i could still use a lot of practice but you know hey we we keep doing it and i'm only going to get better so and uh, obviously with your you know comments and telling me what i'm missing or what i could do better that always tends to help and last on the agenda is the second gatehouse so this is going to be the separation of the port and the actual living area of Avonburg. And I really wanted this to kind of stand out architecturally, even though it's simple, I wanted it to have kind of um, like a European rustic kind of feel. And that's why you can see I added all these small details. Now I say European, I'm, I'm from America, so I don't know all the builds and Google can only help me so much. Um, so I'm doing a lot of research into how a lot of buildings are made over there to kind of tweak my building style to work. But I like the simple style that I've, you know, kind of 
made for myself and I think it is kind of my specialty. But as you can see here, I decided to actually give it a red roof in the very end to make it really pop. And it's a, in an L shape and it has a tower in the center, which you'll see in the walkthrough, which is coming up in just a moment. So I'll give you a quick second break and we'll be right back. All right, so here we are, of course, starting off in the main street of Avonburg on the business side. So here's the structure that I built in the last video, and we're just going to go straight through it. And this is the port. And like I said, it looks it actually looks really, really great at night. I wish I could uh, show you that, but I didn't really have time uh, while editing this video. But as you can see here, we have some storage units, and this is the larger one that I was telling you about. We have some, you know, nets out to dry. They've caught some fish. We have some uh, crab cages and things like that to just kind of pull it all together. And here you can see it's got tons of boxes, barrels, crates, uh, some potatoes right there. You know, just this is where as soon as they, uh, the fishermen come in or the trade ships come in, they're going to they're going to stow it here and then get it for later. And this little area right here, I kind of snuck in. It kind of like as an NPC place where you would go like fetch fishing quests and, you know, things like that. Uh, it's just a small shop. He sells pelts and leathers. And I just kind of tucked that vendor back there. Just like I said, I, I kind of, I'm, I'm designing this not necessarily to be 100% realistic, but to almost be like a video game. Um, I love video games in general, and it's just something that I've always wanted to do, but I do not have the intelligence to design and build code and do all that stuff. So as you can see, coming on to the front side of the storage area, have some chests, have some barrels and some logs. Um, obviously this is going to be a trading port and wood is a very great commodity to have. So that's pretty much that. And this is the front. And as you can just see, this is the space I'm going to be working with for the interior. And it's definitely more than enough. I've already built it on my uh, like little test server and it looks great. Here we have a cart full of just random goods. It's just kind of hanging out there. It's kind of overloaded at the moment, but this does supply some stuff for the Fisherman's Guild. And as you can see, this is the front of it. And like I said, it's basic, but I really like the way the porch and the second story um, balcony look. Um, we have, you know, some tables outside, have some rope, some more logs here that, uh, you know, have been dropped off and they need to be processed and worked through. And of course, another outhouse. Gotta love those. They're all over the place. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. And as you can see, I tried to build the rock and the terrain to look natural. Like this port was literally built on that natural terrain. And so after all that, we're going to move over here. So this is where people would kind of turn in items um, that need to be processed and documented correctly. We have a bulletin board there for bounties, jobs, you know, things like that. Uh, two carts being loaded up with materials about to be sent either onto a ship or, you know, through the city going to its respective places. And just some more, you know, backup and, you know, people's belongings and, and companies' belongings. Here we have a quick little vendor, um, just sell some seafood, sells basic fruits, vegetables, things like that for people coming in. I mean, I think it's a great spot. It would make a lot of money with uh, people coming in and fishermen and companies coming in. Obviously, they would go to him first. We have the chimney for the Fisherman's Guild, and it's one of the few chimneys I've ever made. I think it turned out really, really great. And the second little storage area right here. All right, and as you can see that this is kind of like the first one, obviously it's meant to be, but just slightly different, full of different materials and, and, and obviously sorted a different way. But for the most part, that is the port that I've designed thus far. Uh, let me change the time real quick so the sun actually comes through. And then if we go up here, you can see that this leads straight to the marketplace, which I thought was kind of nice. I just kind of tied it in there and made it kind of all flow as one. So coming through here, of course, we have another, you know, uh, toilet <laughs> and um, it's just some storage. And as you can see, I kind of tried to build that terrain up a little bit with some, you know, stone, uh, some grass, bushes, things like that to just kind of make it fit this paradise trading island uh, theme. And I think it looks really, really good. I, I'm still going to work on it, maybe tweak it a little bit, but that's pretty much the port. And as you can see here, here's just kind of a quick overview. And 
yeah, that's it. So anyways, I hope you liked the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you like the progress that we're making so far. I think it looks fantastic. I think it looks really awesome. And Avonberg is really coming together in my opinion. So once again, if you like the video, please let your friends know about it. Share this project. The more people involved, the better it's going to be. So once again, this is the Legendary Porpoise signing off. Have a great day and happy gaming.